can't see it, can't steal it. They are the first store using fog to deter crime. It's a story you'll see only on two, a brand new way of fighting the mass retail thefts plaguing the city. Our Tara Molina has covered the theft issue for years and has a first-hand look at this new technology from Lincoln Park. The newest solution to Chicago's retail theft problem comes in a box. It may not look like much, but it only takes seconds for this to make a difference. Hit by thieves and cleared out twice in a year. The owner of this Lincoln Park small business knows how bad this hurts. My store was robbed almost six months ago, and I still don't have a settlement for my insurance company. A problem plaguing business across Chicago for years. Look at Michigan Avenue, we're you know, down 30%. People are just moving out. Problem meet solution. Densi USA's instant fog technology is pretty unique. When a criminal breaks in after hours, the alarm deploys, the fog deploys, and in seconds, your business is going to be protected. Mike Eagle is with Density USA. They literally can't see it to steal it. The company behind the fog. Did you ever think that you'd be talking about fog to stop crime? No, not even. Their non-toxic, no-grime fog tech is being used across the world. He says successfully, but just started rolling out here in the U.S. So our line is warn, alert, repel, and the repel <laughs> actually works. We ran the numbers. Both theft and robbery are up this year in Chicago. Theft, the highest we've seen since 2019. Robbery, the highest since 2018. This tech aiming to prevent another hit like this here. The basic model runs around $7,000. So it'll fill up about 1,000 square feet in roughly 15 seconds. The first store in Chicago, in the state, to put the fog to the test. The owner didn't want herself or her store identified, but she did want to share this with other business owners with you. It just gives me peace of mind. I sleep better. Yeah. This technology has been in place here for about a month. They haven't had to use it yet, but this business owner is hoping it makes all the difference. Reporting on the North Side, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. Well, this technology is being used in stores across the country in states like California, Missouri, and Tennessee, and they're talking to retailers now about bringing more of this to Chicago.